Today I'm showing you how you can download, install, and use Worst Client from Minecraft Java Edition 1.12.2. So to download it, you want to go to this page on Worst Client's official website. I will leave this down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, on this page over here, this is the latest version for the 1.12.2 version of Worst. Anyways, you can scroll down a little over here until you get to the downloads area. Here you'll be able to download the 1.12 version for Optifine or the version that not Optifine, right? Um, basically, I'm not going to be doing it with Optifine right now. Um, the process will be pretty simple, so you don't really need to worry much about that. Anyways, I can just click on this button right over here, and that's going to automatically start the download. Now, as you can see in my downloads, I have the worst client for Minecraft 1.12.zip. Great, so I can go ahead and right click on this and then select the extract all option over there. Now depending on your operating system or your device, you might not actually have that as an option. And if you don't, well then you'll need something to extract it, which you can use a program like 7-zip or WinRAR, stuff like that. I'll probably leave one of the two down in the description for if you need it. Anyways, now that it's been extracted, you'll also have the regular file folder together with the still compressed one. You can delete the compressed one since we won't be needing it anymore. Now we can double click on the worst client for Minecraft 1.12 folder over here and we'll see three different files. We want to click on, in my case, the middle one, which is the worst installer.cmd. Double click on that just like so and it'll open up this right there. Then click on the install button. Now. Potentially, you might get this error that it couldn't find Minecraft 1.12 at, and then a really long file path. If that's actually the case, then what you want to do is just quickly go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher. Once you've opened the Minecraft launcher, you want to go over to this installations tab over here, click on new installation, and then type in here 1.12 for the version, obviously not 1.20. We can select release 1.12 over here um, as for the name I'll just probably call this release 1.12 pretty simple right so now that you have that selected make sure that you do have the correct version selected click on this green create button over there in the bottom right then go over to play and make sure you select it as you see release 1.12 the one I just made is right there now that I have that selected I just want to click on play and of course understand the risks of playing an older version of Minecraft. Now it's going to prepare it as you can see and quickly download this Minecraft version which is exactly what you needed. Now it's going to start but really it doesn't even have to. So we can close this over here and now that we've actually downloaded that version of Minecraft we can try again. So the worst installer, there we are, we can open it up and then once again click on the install button. Now as you can see WorstMC for 1.12 has been successfully installed. Great, that is exactly what we wanted. So we can click on OK over there and now once again if you wish to do so you can delete this folder because you really don't need it anymore. Now we can go ahead and try it out. So we'll open up the Minecraft launcher and now for you automatically selected is worst for Minecraft 1.12. Now if it isn't automatically selected you can scroll through here as well um, and you might be able to select it just like that. If you still can't find it then either try restarting the Minecraft launcher or just restart your device altogether. Anyways what you want to do is click on play and of course once again understand the risks of playing modded and older versions of Minecraft. Now as you can see right there, it's actually being started up, so that is of course great. As you see, we have worst right over here. Now I'll just go into single player and go into this world I have over here, and I'll just quickly show you guys exactly how to use it. First off, probably one of the most important things out there, um, just quickly get that away there we are you so you want to press on the right hand shift button and that is going to open up this big big menu over here with every single utility that this client has as you can see there's quite a lot so you can also search for things over here 
as you can see, although this didn't really narrow it down a lot. Anyways, the fact that there's a lot of things is really actually only positive. Anyways, um, these up here are all utilities. If you're not sure what they do, you can hover above them and as you can see, you'll get a brief description right over there. To enable them, you can click on them like so and they'll be listed in the top left hand side. As you can see, I can enable all these and they'll all be put in the list there. I can disable them all again, of course, by just once again clicking on them. As you can see, each utility also has a green arrow. If you click on the green arrow, just like so, it's actually going to give you a bit of a larger menu. So it'll give you the category it's in and the description, sometimes a little bit more of a description than you get from hovering over it. And depending on the utility, you'll get more or less customization settings. As you can see here, for this, what is this, auto fish, I can choose my valid range, right? Pretty simple. One of the more important things though is the fact that you can actually set a keybind for every single one of these through this menu as well. I can press on escape to go back to this main area. Let's see if I can find one with a little more customization. Not really. There we are. Amazing. So the bow aimbot, as you can see here, um, I can really just adjust this to my liking. Um, I can choose what I want to do, do what I want. You get the idea. Now, um, if we actually scroll down to the very bottom, most of these up here, they're actually sorted by alphabet, as you can see. And these are all really the more hacks. Um, and if we scroll down here and get past the dot, then we'll find some, I suppose, different types of utilities. So at the bottom right here is X-ray, which is a really often used one, which is always useful to just see that down there. And as you can see, after this um, sorting right there, now, as you can see, after the ones with all the dots before them, which I will actually get to later, we have a bit of more utilities right here. So we have the option to disable worse. We can use Yes Cheat Plus, which as you can see makes other features bypass and cheat plugins, um, which in this case is turned off. Um, we can choose to enable or disable the worst logo. We have Zoom. We have the Tab GUI, which allows you to quickly toggle mods while playing. So all of these are a little different than the ones um, up the top here. You also have the hack list, which um, if I scroll up, of course, I could turn on the things and they'll be put in this little array list or hack list, as it says over here, up the top there. Um, Maybe you don't want that, and if you don't, well, then you can scroll down to the bottom, go to the hack list, click on the green arrow, and then you can actually turn that off as well. So we can change the position if we wish to do so, of course, and we can also just hide it there or choose for it to show us a count of what we all have enabled. Now, there is actually also a different way to access this menu that we've just been in. So instead of pressing on the right shift button, you can also press on the right control button over here. And that is going to give you this list. Um, as you can see, in this case, they're all gonna be sorted by type. I'll try and organize this a little for myself. Of course, you can do so too if you wish. You can click on this arrow and it'll give you, um, as you can see, there's, it, there, there's really too much here. Um, and it'll give you, as you can see, sorted by type all the things that we saw there as well. So let's say you really want to just use these utilities mainly for movement. Well, then this is a really good way to sort them. And of course, this works the exact same as we saw earlier. So we can click on these, click on them once again to disable them. And we can also click on the arrow over there. And that is going to give us this customization menu which is now all overlapping everything um, do keep in mind that you can scroll in some of these just so you don't maybe miss out on things potentially anyways that is basically that um, some people prefer this menu I'll drop down a few more things here um, and you know personally just because of how many utilities worse actually has um, I tend to prefer this one now, as we saw earlier, if we scroll down a little, there's a bunch of things with dots in front of them. Um, as you can see, really quite a lot over here. So 
dot annoy all the way through to dot x-ray and what these are is they are actually commands the dot works in the same way as the slash would in vanilla minecraft right so let's um choose one over here dot give for example you might recognize that from the command slash give in vanilla minecraft anyways all of these are commands as i said you can type them in the chat um, and i'll show you an example with the dot give over here so i can left click on this right over here and as you can see it's going to give me a little bit of the syntax right there as well as a description of what this command is actually going to do if you need more help you can click on this help button which will open up a web page or you can actually right click on it as well and that is going to open up the same web page for you for this specific command um, which will allow you to hopefully use it a little better anyways we can up the, open up the chat here and type in dot give let's say i have a terrible memory and i still can't remember how to use it well now by just only typing it in it'll also give me the usage over here so that's great so how to use it well you type in dot give and then the item name the amount potential metadata and npts of course those are optional um everything between these brackets over there those are optionals um so what is the item name going to be and let's go um diamond block of course why just give yourself diamonds if you can also give yourself diamond blocks right let's give ourselves that many not sure if there's a cap on this for the rest i'm good um so sadly i i, ca I can't do that right um so here we go dot give um diamond block there we are and i'll type in 64 and there we go i now have uh, 64 diamond blocks to my name so that is basically how that works and so do all the other commands so i can scroll here a little again and um, basically all of these will allow you to do stuff in real time through this chat system over here now a question i get pretty often is will other people be able to see these chat messages the answer to that is no um, only the client side person so the one using um, worst client will be able to see this anyways basically um, that was that if you do have any questions or stuff like that then do just feel free to leave those down in the comments below but for right now thank you ever so much for watching and i do hope to see you again in the next one Bye bye